Introducing BEST, or Building Efficiency System Tool, the revolutionary software that makes it easy to compare HVAC systems apples to apples so that you can choose the best system that fits your budget and performance requirements early in the design phase. BEST brings EER, IEER, SEER, and COP data together to provide you with all the comprehensive, objective information you need. BEST is easy to use and cuts the time needed for a detailed analysis down from hours to just minutes. Let's take a look at how the software works. When you open the software, you'll see a project screen that contains all of the fields necessary to do your energy consumption and life cycle cost calculations. BEST makes it easy to do these calculations by grouping all of the necessary fields together in one convenient location. You start by entering your location in order to populate the tool with weather data. BEST uses NOAA weather data for all of its calculations, sourced from over a thousand locations around the U.S. and Canada, and updated hourly. So let's pick a location. For our example, we'll choose Pennsylvania, followed by the city of Philadelphia. Now, BEST needs a little bit of information about your building. BEST models each building as a cube with length, width, and height parameters, since its purpose is to do calculations for HVAC systems. So let's fill in the fields. For this example, we'll enter 100 feet as the length, 100 feet as the width, 5 stories high with a 14-foot floor height. You can also enter the perimeter width. If you want to model a different system on the perimeter or skin of the building instead of the interior, you can do that by inputting the distance from the outside wall to the interior of the building that is affected by the skin load. In this case, we've chosen to enter 12 feet. For our example, we've entered default values for nearly every parameter. If you don't want to use the defaults, they're easy to override. For example, the default value for loads is 30 BTUs per square foot of heating and cooling. Let's override it and put 25 as the value for cooling. The calculations will adjust accordingly. BEST also has default values for energy and utility costs. One of the ways BEST makes life easier is that average electrical prices are built into the software. You can easily get electrical consumption by state by simply clicking a button. Let's click the button and see what happens. Now we can see the average electrical rate for Philadelphia is a little bit under 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, let's go to one of the Systems tabs and enter the information on how to model a system. BEST organizes its System tabs in an easy-to-understand format, starting at the left with Generation Sources for Heating and Cooling. The center is your Distribution System, Piping, Ductwork, and the like. On the far right are choices for Terminal Equipment. Let's say, for example, that we wanted to model a boiler, with natural gas as the fuel, with an energy efficiency of 85%. Let's choose a cooling source. We'll make our cooling source a chiller, and we'll choose water-cooled electric as our subtype. The program automatically adds default values for the efficiency of this equipment. If you need to override the defaults, BEST makes it easy to do that. There are also default values entered for the EER and IEER fields. These can be overridden with custom values if necessary. Now let's move to the center column. Let's choose a piping system. We'll use two pipe standard with variable speed control delta P. We'll do the same thing for cooling. BEST offers different options for different types of systems depending on what your needs are. For duct systems, there are a number of options. We'll choose a dedicated outdoor air system with constant volume as the method of control. Now we'll move to the right to choose our terminal units. We'll choose fan coil unit for the perimeter and chilled beam for the interior. For this example, we'll choose the same parameters for our cooling system. Now that we've entered our system parameters, we can see the data fields up above the three columns have been populated with results. We can see the estimated electrical consumption, estimated fossil fuel consumption, and estimated electrical, fuel, and energy costs. Another powerful feature of BEST allows you to do a life cycle estimate using contractor data collected from around the country. Let's click the Estimate button. 
Now you can see that we can choose from a list of predefined systems to estimate the first cost. These first cost estimates are derived from data provided by contractors around the country and represent typical HVAC costs. Let's choose Chilled Beam with Water Cooled Chiller. Once we select our system and click OK, BEST tells us what the estimated first cost, annual maintenance cost, and replacement costs are. From here we can view a summary of this information by navigating to the Energy Costs tab where we can get a look at what the total cost might be for this particular system. Once you've filled in these fields, you can do the life cycle cost as well by clicking the rightmost tab at the top of the screen. If we go to the Life Cycle Costs screen, we can now see what the total life cycle cost might be for this particular system. Although this is all fairly straightforward, there's one additional method we'd like to show you that makes it easier and faster to enter data for up to four different systems. Back on the project screen, you'll see the Predefined Systems button on the right-hand side. Once you click that button, BEST allows you to select up to four different systems for comparison. Let's give the wizard a try. For System 1, we'll choose a Chilled Beam Air-Cooled 4-Pipe System. For System 2, we'll choose a Heat Pump Water Source to Air 2-Pipe System. For the third system, we'll choose a Variable Air Volume air-cooled four-pipe system. For system four, we'll choose a VRF air source heat pump system. Once you complete the wizard, you can view your results in the system tabs at the top of the screen. You can adjust individual parameters as needed. The wizard feature also serves up data on estimated energy costs and life cycle costs based on defaults from the system wizard. Right at the bottom, on the left-hand column, we can see that BEST has crunched the numbers and has a comparison of energy savings for each system. In the upper right-hand corner, we can see the beer ratings for each system, the building energy efficiency ratio, as opposed to the equipment energy efficiency ratio. This is essentially a system IEER that we call the building energy efficiency ratio. We can also go to the life cycle cost screen and view the life cycle costs of the four different systems. The total estimated costs are right at the bottom. In the upper right hand corner, we can see the payback of each system over the lowest first cost. Building Efficiency System Tool. It's simple, powerful, and free. Get the most out of the systems you design with BEST.